Hi guys, Creative Monique here. Welcome back to my channel. And on this channel, we do all things arts and crafts. For today's project, I'm going to be making a cute little art piece for your mantle or your desk. Um, it's a late summer piece um, because summer is almost gone. So that's why I say it's a late summer piece but nonetheless it's going to be gorgeous so let's get into it so i'm going to be using this cute little transfer from chalk couture and i'm going to be using some chalk paste in black velvet i'm going to be using this cute frame that i found from dollar general it uh, has a five by seven inside, which is what our piece of watercolor paper paper is cut to uh, a five by seven. Um, it fits in there perfectly. And also going to have um, my stir stick and a little tray for my paste, some daubers, some ink daubers, and going to be using some Distress Oxide inks in Spice Marmalade, Picked Raspberry, and Cracked Pistachio. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to do a little ink blending on my watercolor paper. So, I'm going to start with the Spice Marmalade, and I'm just going to come towards the bottom, or the top, well, the top. We're going to flip it around, but I'm going to come. And I'm sorry about the shaking, but that always seems to happen when I'm ink blending. Okay. And next I'm going to do the cracked pistachio on the other end here. And next, I'm going to come into my picked raspberry. Um, where is going to get this off a little bit? So, wipe it down for a minute. So I won't get any of that color in my um, and my other ink. And I'm just gonna take a rag and dry this if it's a little wet. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my picked raspberry. And you can do this with paint. You can do this with chalk paste doesn't matter but I wanted to use the distress ink yeah it's looking good So I'm going 
gonna come back into the spice marmalade and blend it so it won't seem so harsh such a harsh line and then I'm gonna come back into my cracked pistachio and I'm gonna blend that a little bit more okay I like it it's gonna be very quick very quick project so I'm gonna close my ink up So next, I'm going to get my chalk paste out and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water, mist, mist it just a little, and I'm trying to get it. Uh, the consistency a little thin because it was a little thick but there we go that's good i think i might have sprayed my camera lens because it looks a little dark on camera so let me wipe that off a little is that better okay All right. So I have my chalk transfer here and be careful if you're going to use paint um, instead of the ink, you need to make sure that you let it completely dry and that you wax the surface because the chalk transfers don't really like paper. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you, that you, um, that your paint dries really well because if not, it's going to stick to your transfer. Okay. So I've already used this transfer, so I don't have to fuzz it. So I'm going to just sit it on, center it on my paper make sure it's straight and then I have the same distance for all the edges which I think I do okay make sure I got all the air bubbles out There's an air bubble. Okay, so I'm gonna get just a little bit of chalk paste in my tray and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna chalk it up making sure not to go off the transfer onto the paper. Stay within my boundaries. And I did not heed that very well because I just went off just a little bit. Hopefully won't look too bad when we're done I'm gonna need well, let's see if I can get all of this first might need just a little bit more chalk in my tray just a little bit be careful I'm getting close to the edges again and I don't want to get any more chalk on the side I'm want to stay on the transfer 
Okay. And I think she's chopped up pretty good. So now I'm going to come in on the end and I'm going to pull it up. Look at that. And I see that right here it's a little light, so I'm going to put my transfer back down and I'm going to get some more paste. And then I'm going to come in here on this leaf. Yeah, there we go. And pull it up. Can you guys see that or is it blurry? Can you see it? Look at that. Gorgeous. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Okay. So we're going to let that dry and let's dry it really quick. So this is our frame and well, let's close up this chalk paste so it doesn't dry out. So this is our frame, we're going to take this out, and I'm going to pull off the plastic. from both sides. Stick that in there. There we go. There we go. And as you all can see, if we did that, that will be a very cute art piece, right? by itself so let's see if it's dry and it is so it will just sit inside our frame like so well maybe not like so it needs to be trimmed just a little bit so that's what it would look like and we can just leave it like that but i want to add a little something and it, you might not like it but i love it and you can you can get to this point and you can totally stop and be done but i'm gonna add a little something 
So I'm going to trim off just a little bit so it will fit in our frame. Just a little teeny bit. And just a little teeny bit off the bottom. to trim be trimmed just a little bit more I trimmed this before I got started like what okay just another little teeny bit of trim another little bit off the bottom and finally there we go see we can leave it like this which is gorgeous I love it I love it I love it but I'm gonna add just a little bit just a little something extra so I love art journaling and I love words on everything. So I'm going to put some words on this. I'm going to take just a little piece and I'm going to get a liner and to write find me and under the palms exclamation I love this little felt tip pen and again I'm going to get my paper cutter and I love it and like I say you don't have to do this step if you don't want to um, but I want to so I'm doing it and if my head would stop hitting the camera means I got it a little too low okay let's see if we can get some glue out of here mm, no so I'll get 
get some glue on this. How to get it as straight as I can. And I was so, so eager <laughs> to put it down. I forgot to outline it with my black pen. Okay. But we're gonna attempt to do it anyway without touching our background. kind of give it a little art journaling feel because like I say I love words on my art oh yeah I like that okay Gonna give it a minute to dry. And just that quick, we have a cute little piece of art for our desk. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to write. And I'm going to date it 26, 24. Just like that, I'm going to put my acrylic piece in, put my artwork in, and put the back on. Isn't that cute? And you can sit it on your mantle, you can sit it on your desk, anywhere you want to um, see the tropics because you know fall is coming, it's right around the corner and then winter. So this is a cute little piece for you to put on your desk during the fall and the winter to remind you that summer is coming, okay? All right, and that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, you know what you need to do. You need to click the button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with another video. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.